Okay guys, so here I am once again. Um, yesterday I got something in the mail. They have some more tools. They came from Korea, okay? These tools are called Manpa tools, okay? Carve your life. Um, they are grinder attachments, okay? So look at these, I can't wait to use this. Look at this cutter. So this fits on the grinder. I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna make this video but I got two different grinder attachments. I already got one on a grinder. This is on a Dewalt, okay? So I don't really know how I'm gonna get this video. Here's a smaller one, okay? So these are, I believe these are really easy to switch out from this. I'm not too sure if I'm doing this right, but this has a, you undo that Allen screw there. This thing has a spring in it. You push it down, you put the new one on. Okay, you guys can see these are like my um, chainsaw gouger bits, right guys? I'm not taking the, um, I'm definitely not taking the uh, guards off of these because man, if these things cut you, like let's see, this one for example, look out. I believe I haven't used these yet, but these are cast aluminum tools. Very, very good quality. You know, you guys, this stuff comes from Asia, right? But Korea. Just like, uh, but these are quality tools. Lots of pro carvers use them. And you know, like, um, just because it comes from age doesn't mean it's not very good quality tools. Like, I don't know, I love those Korean ladies, so I'm gonna compare these tools to the Korean ladies. And there's also like a hole gouger. Okay. See, this goes on your grinder too. And this will like uh, gouge out holes so you can make bowls and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys have seen their videos. They have lots of videos making bowls and stuff like that. But this will be good for flower pots. Okay, so I'm going to give a quick demonstration how to set this up on this Bosch grinder. This grinder is Dewalt. I set it up the other one yesterday. So it's pretty basic, guys. It's pretty basic. They send you these uh, rings too with the multi-cutter kit. Because like this one's for the boss, this one's for the Makita, right? So this ring that in this uh, Dewalt had uh, Dewalt on it because they're different sizes. So I already put the ring on there. All you do, well, you're supposed to tighten this up, put this on. Okay, it just screws on there. Now they say to tighten this on with a wrench, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I got that tightened on with a wrench, okay? So all you do, is just get this, there's an Allen key there, loosen it, you can see there how it will loosen, unloosen that Allen key and slide it on. Okay guys, so I also got a shirt, so I'm not good at filming how to put tools together, but it's really easy, I got it all on, there's a belt on here, you see it spins and it spins this cutter up here, okay, so now you got a case, you got this case that goes on here, Okay, put that on. Then you got this handle and it screws to the case. So there you go. There's your there's my cutter hooked up, okay? Get the handle on tight. There, there's my cutter hooked up. Oh I did that when I was plugged in. Should have done that. Man, this thing is wicked. Wicked. Okay, so I got the two cutters. I got the two cutters hooked up to different grinders. Now I'm gonna hook up this uh, hole cutter. I got two of them. Okay, there's this one. This one's called a uh, crack cutter. This does smaller holes, but this is the bigger holes. This is the the baby that I want to get at. I don't know what size it is. It's not the biggest, but I'm gonna hook this up to another grinder now too. Hey okay, guys, you see this comes in two pieces. This is steel, this is aluminum, but don't hold me to it. So all you do is screw this in there, get your wrenches, get your wrenches, tighten it up. Then you got a grinder like this, just a cheap Rona, Roby grinder or whatever. Take these bits off, then you screw this onto your grinder. Okay. okay guys, so that's it. Easy as one, two, three. Look at that hole, those cutters on there. You guys wear your gloves and these are aggressive tools, guys. 
I know lots of pro carvers use these tools, so I don't know, but I'm wearing my gloves and eye protection, that's for sure. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna carve with these suckers now. Okay guys, so I got all my tools set up. I got this cutter set up on the uh, Dremel. I got the hole cutter. I think this is a two inch or three inch on uh, this cheap grinder. I got uh, this one, which is gonna be my favorite for the beard hairs on my uh, boss stitch grinder, okay? Sorry I didn't film very good putting them together, but they're not very hard to put on guys. It doesn't take rocket science. Okay, so here's a box. So what I do for all my tools, this bag, I just picked it up when I picked up this grinder. This is this bag is going to be for my man put tools, right? So I can keep all my wrenches and belts and stuff like that in this bag, right? Because I get confused, you know, because I'm still new to chainsaw curving too, right? So I forget what's what. So at least with everything in one bag for that, for all these tools, I'll know where to go, right? Example for like this one is for a chainsaw curving, all my files and different things in here, right? So that's for chainsaw curving. So guys, I know I said I was going to make up this wood spirit I was gonna make a hole in here for an owl to sit on a branch but I don't have time and well I really don't care so what I want to do is I want to cut this off right here and I either want to carve hair in this wood spirit because I want to use these tools today I want to hold the top out to make it a flower planter like uh, for succulents so I can use that hole cutter right there or I want to start a whole new wood spirit on the bottom piece. So what I'm going to do now is get my chainsaw and just cut this off. And then I'll decide from there if I carve a whole new wood spirit or work on this guy. Okay guys, guys, you can see I got this cut in half now. I got this other one on the, uh, on the stump ready to carve. So I'm not going to try and use my chainsaw carvings to do this. I'm going to use these tools, okay? I'm gonna try my best, see how well they work for me to do it, okay? These cutters, I'm gonna use this, then I'll use this one for the beard hair as a hole at the top with this for the flower pot. Um, I will be sitting down to do this because like I said, I'm not feeling too well still and uh, sorry guys, it's another wood spirit video, but um, that's just all I feel like doing today. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video of me carving this one. Well lots of this wood here is punky crappy wood right so let's just see how it goes and you guys if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit chainsaw or like with dremel tools this is all the same theory anyways so um let me uh go to my playlist and you can uh see how to i do my wood spirits and uh step-by-step -step videos okay so i'm gonna get carving the sucker now with my uh, i'll be wearing my uh desk mask for sure today too
okay so wow this is what I got done in 10 minutes I looked at the camera guy when it was film guys when it was filming look how deep I took that forehead back this thing these things rip guys oh yeah okay so I can't do the whole carving with this so what I'm gonna do quickly is uh, I think it's hard to see isn't it I don't know what I'm gonna do quickly is put some quick details in here like this isn't gonna be a very detailed wood spirit guys I'm feeling terrible sorry for saying it again but uh, I'm gonna pull out my uh, die grinder with my cut saw burrs guys I'll show you and you can go to the description below to get the cut saw bits you save yourself five percent um, so I'm just gonna quickly shape the face and uh, give them a mouth and then uh, we'll do the beard hairs and then we'll cut the flower pot in the top man this I like it just to show you guys the size of the chips that throws right okay guys so I realized I had my Dewalt 20 full uh, brushless uh, die grinder here here's a cut saw flame burr extreme this is quarter inch guys, one backslash four, right? Fits in the die grinders. It's a full battery, so I'm gonna hit it with this and uh, just clean it up and see what I can do. Okay, so there you guys can see I got everything cleaned up to as good as I wanted to today. Um, I got his big bottom lip kind of hanging down here, kind of undercut, got his nose done. This is not gonna have eyeballs, just eyes in there. Um, got the outside of the wood cleaned up. So now this is what I'm excited to use. This is the moment, guys. With this, uh, I forget the name of this one, but it's like a triangle cutter. See those cutters? Oh yes. Oh yes. So I'm gonna put all, see how low I took his mustache down to his beard too? Cause I'm gonna blend it all in with this. This is the magic moment, guys. Yes, it is. Okay, let uh, let me have a little break here and catch, <coughs> excuse me, catch my breath and um, go to town. Okay, guys, here goes the magic moment. Ah. going very light guys this is a very aggressive tool very aggressive Okay guys, so that took me another exactly 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do this carving now for about 25 minutes. Okay, so wow, it sure uh, speeds up the progress for me for the wood spirits. 
I'm gonna leave this one not too detailed, but I'm gonna leave it like a chainsaw carving. But look at those beard hairs, guys. Freaking love it. Okay, so you can see here the mustache. I couldn't get up too close to the nose or it would cut the nose. So I'll just get my Dremel. I got my Dremel here and I'm just gonna cut those in quickly and uh, do some quick touching up. And then uh, let's talk about uh, carving the planters for this and that with the hole cutters. Okay guys, so I'm not wearing my gloves for this because it gives me extra control. I can grab the, I can hold this better without gloves, right? So, I wish I had a more powerful grinder for this, but this will work for now. Let's give her. And you guys, you have to remember, I'm, I'm cutting against grain. That's the hardest cut to do is against grain, right? So. This thing cuts wicked. You can also get a bigger one, like a three or four inch one. I'm not too sure. So yeah, I've already cut about two inches down in here. So I'll get this done, guys, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay, so I got the holes cut in these bad boys and you guys got to remember when you're doing it this way You're carving against the grain and that's the hardest to do in any type of wood against the grain, right? Way harder than a face grain edge grain. So Yeah, this thing kicked ass Still sharp little cutters on there um, Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with everything so far. So what I'll do now is just give this a quick burn, hit it with my little flap sander, my um, one of these guys, and then uh, we'll call her done. Sorry for the sun, guys. Okay, so we back. Okay, guys. So I'd say it's pretty safe to call these guys done. You got to remember, guys. This wood, this cedar, was absolutely terrible cedar to work with. So I'm not trying to make anything detailed or crazy. They are what they are. They make great succulent um, succulent plant holders. I still got to carve drill holes in the through the back drain holes. I love these tools, guys. They're strong tools. They're great cutters. They're smooth. You got to be very careful when you're using them, guys, because they can be dangerous. Like when you're using those uh, cut saw discs, those things will rip your skin. But these things, these things will gouge your skin. If you get hit with this you're going to the hospital they also got little uh, Allen key things there pressure keys so you can when they're getting dull on one side you can change you can uh, rotate it love the tools love them I love the beard hairs guys like I this took me this wood spirit took me a quarter of the time this wood spirit took me with these tools and that's the only tools I used to carve this guy. This guy was chainsaw, grinders, uh, air grinders, uh, die grinders. Sorry guys, I did use my die grinder to hollow out the eyes and clean up a little bit, but that was only five minutes worth of work. So guys, I love these tools, and I can't wait till I feel better to get over, back over here, maybe hopefully next week, and use them more. Do some owls. I also want to finish this big eagle, carve his uh, feathers and his wings, and carve... 
What should I carve down there, guys? What do you think? It's a real old piece of western cedar, but what do you think I should carve down here? Just rocks? Or you think I should carve some wood spirits and stuff? You know, you can see how thick these wings are. So I'll be using that to do all hairs and the eagle feathers. I gotta carve big talons down here. They're gonna be monster. They're gonna be like dragon talons, guys. You can see there's the eagle's knees. So yeah, I love these tools. You guys can research them online. I do believe they sell on uh, Amazon. Okay, Amazon, they sell them on Amazon. I'm not too sure eBay, but I'll, I'll get a link to the website for these tools and um, I'll be using them in lots of my videos. I tell you that much right now. So, and also guys, they're very, very friendly people. They were very helpful. Um, about shipping and they're very helpful asking answering questions about how the tools work and it, It's it gets confusing, but you know different size cutters and all the different sorts They have sanders guys. They have a whole catalog full of things So they have those finger sanders that go into your Dremel attachments and everything so I love them so far. I love them. Yep, and uh, Yeah, I'll put these guys up for sale I'm sure they'll sell pretty quick a couple hundred bucks each spirit spirit succulent holders oh one thing i forgot to mention is you know if you're going to get grinders for these guys get good grinders this thing is um not very powerful but it worked it worked oh one other thing i've been real forgetful these days but i also got a banner too <laughs> ah yeah manpa here you go High quality power carving tools since 1998. Here's the website. Real friendly people, guys. Real friend friendly people. I'll take these home and put some uh, CTOL on them over the next few days. But that's all, folks. We'll see you. We'll see you on the next one. All right, can I get two filet of fishes and, uh, well, one filet of fish combo, an extra filet of fish? Uh, one filet of fish combo with a coke? Yeah, no, with the milk. Uh, with the milk? Yeah. Okay. And uh, an extra filet of fish. You want a plain milk or a chocolate milk? Just a plain milk and some ketchup, please. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Uh, you're totally 14, 17 extra rupees. Holy. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Wood spirit succulent holders for sale. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Dragonfly. Oh. Yes. <laughs>